क्वेश्चन नंबर एट ए लेयर ऑफ मेरकरी ट्रैप्स ए वॉल्यूम ऑफ गैस इन ए ट्यूब ओके द ट्यूब इज प्लेस इन अ वाटर बाथ ट्यूब प्लेस इन अ वाटर बाथ वॉट इज अ वाटर बाथ डू यू आर हीटिंग इट हियर वाटर विल टेम्परेचर ऑफ वाटर विल इंक्रीज सो दिस गैस विल ऑल्सो इंक्रीज राइट नाउ द हाइट विल इंक्रीज एंड स्लोली हीटेड वैन टेम्परेचर ऑफ वाटर इज थ्री हंड्रेड केल विन टेम्परेचर ऑफ वाटर इज थ्री हंड्रेड केल विन देन द हाइट ऑफ द गैस इज हेच ओवर हियर दिस इनिशियल कंडीशन वॉट इज हेच वैन टेम्परेचर ऑफ वाटर इज थ्री सिक्सटी केल विन वैन इट इंक्रीज इज थ्री सिक्सटी केल विन नो वॉट हैपन टेम्परेचर इज हाई हियर सो दे फॉर दिस विल कम हियर एंड दस दे हाइट वुड बी दिस वुड बी द टोटल हाइट दिस वुड बी टोटल हाइट ओवर हियर सो यू नीड टू फाइंड आउट वॉट इज दिस टोटल हाइट सो हाउ डू यू डू Now you know if A is a area of cross section here. Now what is the volume of the gas present inside it? It should be V into V should be equal to area multiplied by H. Is the area expanding while you heat it? The area is not expanding; only the height is expanding. So now what is happening over here? You can say you can now write this as a V volume of the gas expansion is now directly proportional to the temperature. That's what you can see. Which rule is this? A this rule is nothing but Charles' law, right? We proportional to T because pressure is constant. Atmospheric pressure is constant. So therefore, what we will do is we will write V1 by V2 is equal to T1 by T2, removing the proportionality constant. Now, what is V1? A times H1 divided by A times H2 is equal to T1 divided by T2. Now, let us substitute all the values to get the answer. A anyway cancels on both of them. Now, what is H1? H1 was initial, which should be H divided. What is H2? I do not know. Is equal to what is T1? T1 is 300. Divided by T two three sixty. This this goes away. So six six are thirty six six five are thirty. So therefore H two should be equal to H two should be equal to six H divided by five. What is H value? H value H value is given. The value of H is one fifty millimeter. Let us substitute that. It should be six by five multiplied by one fifty five three are which should be equal to one eighty millimeter. Thus the answer is one eighty millimeter. Okay.